joined here by Palm Beach coach Mark. Thanks for joining us, Mark. A uh, bit of a hard day in the office today? Yes, mate. You know, uh, it's too many injuries. Seven first team players out. You know, we've got Keep versus Sunday in his second ever league game. Um, done all right. Uh, it's just too young. Too young again. You know. Pleasing aspect, but Mark, I must say, you're 3 0 at half time. You've come away. Two all in the second half after beating down 5-0. So you've scored the last two. So maybe a bit of positive to take out oh, of that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, the boys kept battling. You know, it's like to see Bobby score a goal. You know what I mean? He doesn't do too many of them. He's, it's just, you know, picking up. You know, you've got a couple of danger players that we didn't pick up. Um, and, you know, new boys coming in. Yep. It's, you know, Levi's a big loss, you know, because just holding that midfield. You know, you can't have a 19-year-old midfield. It's... Um, it just is an experience. No matter how good they are, you just need someone yep. to just hold. Um, and that's just what we've been lacking, you know. With Damien Kievers, we've signed that he's got now bad injury. We've got Levi's now, bad injury. Um, Tom Thompson out, bad injury. Um, top of that, we lost my physio. She's having her ACL, so it's. Um, Maybe it's not a good place to be at the moment. No, 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 no. So uh, hopefully, no, this, this the breaks come up really good for us because hopefully by that time I can have five other players back. Well, you've got four to go. Still sitting in that dangerous playoff yep. spot. That that veto one leagues looks a bit hot there with with about four teams looking for the promotion. Is the where's the, where's the mindset from here now? Are we battling to obviously secure the try to get up out of the playoff spot? But oh, definitely. You know, what I mean, it's, until we sort of down there, 12, 12 points left. No, I, I still think all, all four games are winnable. Um, if we get the side back, and uh, you know, it's like when you just got to get that confidence back. No oh, worries. You know I mean, I've enjoyed coaching them all season, and uh, they, they give us they get, they oh, get everything. Mate, if they give you like a game in the second half, you're in for a good four games. So thank yeah. you very much. No, my, my pleasure. Good thank luck, you. Mark. Thank and you. Good luck to Steve. Good game, Steve. Cheers, buddy. Thanks. Where's Steve? See you the Uh, joined by the victorious coach of the Gold Coast Knights, Steve. Steve, well done. Um, good effort, I suppose. Yeah, well, thanks, Shane. I mean, obviously, this, this, this game was five today. Um, they've been our bogey team this year. They've taken like six points from us this year. So, um, we, we certainly made sure that wasn't going to happen today. So, what was you mentioned that? 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, two losses to them in the last two games. What was different today? Well, I think it was concentration from the start. I mean, um, you know, it, we, we, we seem to sort of, uh, the lower teams, I suppose, we Probably don't respect them enough, and, um, and, and 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 we never really get going from the, from the get go. So today we switched on for the first minute and, uh, and worked really well. Like first goal in 15 minutes, and, and I think controlled the game for, um, pretty much most of the game. You're a different side, obviously, with Slidey up front. Um, what's the trick to keeping him on the park for the rest of the year? Well, keep his mouth shut. I mean, today he did well. I think you know he um, he. he, 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 he he was, he was quite composed today, I think, and, uh, and another great result today, another hat trick. Just. I suppose on a downside, I suppose, look, there's one positive, no yellow cards, no red cards today, so that's one good thing to come out of today. A bit of discipline sort of maybe creeping back in. Yeah, look, 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 it's, 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 as I said, it's been harsh the last few weeks, but um, I said, look, if we, if we just... I mean, we can argue, we can do whatever we want, as long as we don't swear, yeah. we keep it clean, we, should, we shouldn't get cautioned. And, and today, though, as I said, they kept it clean today. There was no swearing, there was, there was no malice in anything. They played hard physical football, and I don't think uh, the ref let it go. On a, on a maybe a little bit of a downward spot, I suppose, you got up to 5-0, conceded the last two goals. Um, concentration. So, purely concentration. And, um, as I said, I mean, we, we, we do tend to switch off for a few minutes and, and get paid. Simple as that. It doesn't matter who we're playing. I mean, Southport last week, Palm Beach. We just can't afford to do that. We need to concentrate for full nine minutes. Break this week. Is that a good thing for you or a bad thing now that you're coming from two good wins? Is it a, is it a bad timing or good timing? Oh, look, I suppose this time of the year, I think it's not a bad thing. I think everyone's been tired. A few knocks. Um, so give me an extra week to recover. I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's bad thing. All right, mate, four to go. You're sitting there, so good luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, Steve. Cheers, mate.
Uh, here with Lee Burning, a very disappointed coach of Broadbeach. 2-0 uh, down half time, scored two quick goals in the second half, right back in it. Fortunately, couldn't see the job out. Uh, How did you see it? Uh, look, yeah, they're a, tr a good team. They've got the experienced players and uh, we were a little bit undermanned today, but we won't use that as an excuse. Went a couple of goals back and I thought under the circumstances, the lads showed a tremendous amount of ticket to get it back to 2-all. Uh, to we, uh, we run out of legs and, you know, the way, the way things are going with uh, what the referees let get away with week after week, we're going to have to struggle to field the team next week. It's ridiculous. I went to a uh, referee's course at the start of the year and they said that the players are going to be protected. And you've watched the video, it's a disgrace. Well, you mentioned undermanned. Uh, you've now got more injuries to add to the list. But a new signing, Tom, Tom McNeish, came on today. Uh, bright spark, he looked all right. How did you see his performance? He hasn't played in a year and a half. I thought he was outstanding. His work rate was great and uh, he's only had two or three training sessions and his attitude's been good and uh, he's a match winner. He's got the X factor and uh, look, you know, we've, we're obviously in a bit of a battle for, for second, third and fourth now with the, with the Knights being gifted three three points and, uh, and, and Burley just one point behind us now. So we've got to regroup and uh, bounce back next game. Well, unlucky today. It was a good effort, I thought. Um, hopefully next week you can pick it back up again. Thanks, Lee. Cheers. Here with, here with Colin Phelan, a very satisfied coach of Burley Heads. Uh, first half, you guys looked untouchable. Uh, great performance. How do you see it from your end? Well, to, to be fair, like you know, collectively, probably as you say, first 45 was probably as, as complete a performance as we put together this season. To be fair, you know, you know, everyone like we all knew our jobs. You know, obviously, new lad who come in, young Benny, give us another extra dimension. So, to be fair, no, very pleased in the first half. A uh, very courageous sec broad beach performance in the second half brought it back to two all. Did you always have the confidence that you could get that third goal to see out the game? Yeah, to be honest, and we like you know, and to be fair to Broadbeach, you know, they pressed and went for the winning, you know, which you know, hopefully we told well maybe we we will have a chance of getting them on the on the break. And uh, and to be fair, that's probably the way it unfolded a little bit. But I mean, uh, our lads just a great shift today and a tremendous character to come back. You know, we usually two 0 to two two. The team that's come back, you'd fancy them to go on and win it. But to be fair, you know, our lads just stepped up another gear and it was great. Yeah, it was very good to watch from the sidelines. Must be pleasing to see that sort of football being played as they run into the finals as well. Yeah, well, without a doubt. I mean, especially on this pitch, it's a little bit bobbly and it's tight. You know, but we, you know, I mean, and to be fair, we're quite courageous. You know, we try and play, you know, and, and to be honest, the easy, the easy option would be to knock long balls. But I've said it before, we're not about that. And, and we try to keep playing today, you know, but uh, I think from back to front, we were very good today, you know. All right, well, congratulations on the three point and good luck next week and next one out. Thank you very much. Cheers.